Hello. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, it's just kind of an experiment that I wanted to try for a while and just see how uh, an established dwarf angel would respond to seeing a video picture of another dwarf angel. In this case, my established coral beauty. I've had him in the tank for more than a year and uh, trying him out and seeing how he would respond to what he perceives as a flame angel uh, suddenly showing up in his turf and just seeing how the coral beauty would respond. Now the point of this is is that what we're looking for is an alternative to uh, to give people an option who are curious about okay how is this fish going to work out with my fish and a lot of times you know the conventional wisdom is you truly aren't going to know until you go and buy the fish, maybe stick it in an acclimation box, but by then you've already purchased the fish and then have to go through the stress and hassle of getting rid of it. Now, obviously, this is not going to show how the flame angel would respond to seeing a coral beauty in its new environment, uh, but it will show how the established dwarf angel, the coral beauty, would respond to a newcomer suddenly uh, encroaching on its turf and doing so with literally no cost to you other than just putting up a video on the side of the tank. So what I've done is I put a, a tablet here playing a video of a flame angel along the side of my tank just to see how my coral beauty dwarf angel would respond. And uh, it's kind of what it's doing is it's taking the mirror trick which is used to help reduce aggression uh, among a fish that uh, is aggressive and uh, giving it a way to divert its attentions and kind of taking it to a different level and just seeing how they would respond to similar species. So once again, my coral beauty's been in the tank just over a year. I got him in June of last year. So, uh, so he's pretty well established dwarf angel and conventional wisdom says you don't want to mix dwarf angels in a four foot tank and you really don't want to mix them if you've got an established dwarf angel. Uh, there's my coral beauty right there and uh, suddenly putting say a flame angel in its perceived environment so I'm going to take a look here and see how my coral beauty responds to seeing a flame angel uh, being in his turf so I'm going to pause this for a second and cue that up and we'll see what happens okay so I've got the video playing now and we'll see how the coral beauty is going to respond He's sitting there kind of out and about, poking his head around, seeing what's there and trying to figure out what it is that's uh, there. And, uh, you know, I'm, I have to say I'm a little bit surprised by the Coral Beauty. Um, I was expecting it to do like it did in the mirror video that I have. If you've seen that, you know, it just went straight after it. Uh, so it definitely doesn't like other coral beauties, but thus far it seems to be somewhat shy and timid of seeing another dwarf angel, or it's just kind of ignoring it. So we'll see maybe if it gets a little more comfortable with the flame angel video here, which I've got going on the tablet right here on the side of the tank. It's popped its head up there every now and then just to kind of see how it's going. Um, but it doesn't really seem to be paying a ton of interest or attention to the video that's currently going on right now. So does it mean that I could add an, a flame angel to my tank? Quite honestly, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's a lot more variables there other than just that, but it is a useful tool to kind of gauge the coral beauty's demeanor and interest, and thus far it just seems to be kind of indifferent uh, doesn't really care or seem to pay, be paying much attention to the flame angel and uh, seems to be even somewhat timid or reluctant around it. Um, but then again, you know, my coral beauty has had a pretty mild demeanor as far as dwarf angels go. Hasn't really given me any problems whatsoever. And, uh, you know, other than occasionally if it sees a smaller fish that it feels it's getting in its way, then it'll kind of go after it. But, yeah, let's see what he's doing. And, once again, just seems kind of indifferent. So, who knows? Uh, 
my coral beauty might be willing to accept a flame angel. Now, of course, the big question is, would the flame angel accept the coral beauty? Who knows? Uh, so anyways, once again, uh, just kind of an interesting little experiment here, just seeing how they would respond, and they just seem to kind of ignore it and be indifferent to it. And that's all I've got, and thanks for watching.